now the latest on July 5th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Hurricane Barbara is weakening in the eastern Pacific, however we have gone a little bit above the, what the National Hurricane Center is saying, still at Category 3 for a little longer. Invest 95E has now officially formed behind it and that could be our next name storm and the remnants of Mun are moving inland over Indochina. It's day 35 of Atlantic hurricane season and again no systems are active today. In the Eastern Pacific it's day 52, Barbara is moving even further out to sea and Invest 95E uh, has already pretty much missed Mexico for now. The remnants of Mun are well inland over parts of Vietnam and Laos. In the Southern Hemisphere no systems to speak of here at this time either. So once again our main feature is Hurricane Barbara which we're putting at 115 miles per hour and 960 millibars for the time being, category 3 on the Sappho Simpson scale, uh, and is expected to weaken significantly in the next few days now. 1582 miles from Hilo, Hawaii, 17 north, 131 degrees west. So as we watch it move along here, you can see the weakening trend is quite a quick one in the next 24 hours. It should weaken to minimal hurricane status and then on to tropical storm status and then possibly be completely gone by the end of this weekend by the time it reaches or approaches Hawaii. Its track will probably take it just south of the Big Island, uh, but that still remains to be seen. Satellite imagery shows how the storm is degenerating and the wind shear graphics have it at around 25 knots of wind shear and that is increasing. The red numbers there denote wind shear values that are unfavorable for tropical cyclone development. The lower the number, the better its chances. Looking around the world then, the Atlantic looks like this. A few interesting little tropical waves are developing there in the uh, uh, very low uh, latitude tropical zone, but none of these expected to develop into tropical cyclones, but interesting to watch nonetheless. Saharan dust, still a very big feature in the eastern part of the Atlantic. And in the Gulf of Mexico region, things very quiet, thunderstorms blowing up over Cuba and over Florida. Barbara is progressing across the eastern Pacific and by far is the main feature uh, here. And you can see how it's really getting a, a decrease of moisture as time goes on as it heads towards the central Pacific region. That will continue and it will really start to run out of steam with that rainfall and the convective activity. Sooner or later that eye will collapse, probably not far away from seeing that now in all honesty. The Western Pacific looks like this, the open waters looking pretty quiet, very quiet I should say. Uh, further towards the west, the remnants of Mun are so far west now that they are off this screen uh, and lots of uh, rainfall activity occurring over eastern China and southern parts of Japan. The Australia and South Pacific region looks like this, a few little blow ups uh, near um, just to the north of Hawaii over those islands that I do forget the name of at this time. And in the Indian Ocean, you can see here what's going on. A uh, little monsoonal depression there by the looks of things in the Bay of Bengal, almost identical to the one that we saw got designated as an invest uh, a few days ago. Sea surface temperatures across the world look like this. Uh, the eastern Pacific's warmest spot still is off the coast of Mexico as it's typical. 28 to 30 degrees Celsius, possibly even more than that along the coast. The Gulf uh, Coast is actually warming up quite a bit now as well. Uh, the area near Florida and uh, Alabama 28 to 30 degrees. The Atlantic itself warming up slowly but surely. The North Indian Ocean, temperatures well into the high 20s by now as well. Uh, some parts of the Bay of Bengal there off Bangladesh, 30 degrees plus. The South China Sea, very warm still, and the, and the Philippine Sea, 30 degrees plus here as well. Very warm waters for a future storm. The remnants of Mun are well inland now, pretty much near the tri-point of Vietnam, Laos and China. Um, looks to me actually that it may just about be on the Chinese side now as it continues with very little convection by now, but still uh, those small amounts could cause potential flash flooding locally. And this is what Barbara looks like in the latest frames. You can see the eye becoming ever more lopsided in these frames, the convection becoming more sporadic and disjointed, you could say here. Um, certainly a shadow of what it used to be. Uh, still looks pretty good on the visible, but any system can fool you 
into thinking that. So as of July 5th, this is where we are on the charts with the names. The next name in the Atlantic is going to be Barry. In the Eastern Pacific, uh, the next system that invests could become Cosme. The Central Pacific has Aconi on its books for the next name. In the Western Pacific, we're looking out for Danas. And in the North Indian Ocean, next up is Hika. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest information. You can also find our YouTube page, search Force 13 all in text and subscribe if you haven't already. And you can also find our social platforms on Facebook and Twitter as well. Search Force 13 all in text if you'd like to get in touch with us on any of those mediums. And we'll be back with another update tomorrow. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's fool13 at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for tropical weather chat in our description.